Here in southern Oregon uh, is not a good afternoon. It's been a, a terrible day. I'll start off by explaining what happened uh, at the Umpqua Community College this morning. At approximately 10.38 this morning, the Douglas County Emergency Communications Center received phone calls from the college reporting an active shooter in one of the classrooms uh, at the college. Officers from around the county immediately uh, responded to the college and upon arriving there they located the shooter in one of the buildings. Officers engaged that suspect. There was an exchange of gunfire. The shooter threat was neutralized and officers continued uh, to sweep the campus looking for other threats. We have confirmed that there is confirmed injuries and there are confirmed fatalities. And at this point it is a very active scene, it's a very active investigation and that is really all at this point that I am prepared to share or that I can share. The Oregon Attorney General I cannot. I've heard varying numbers and I, I don't want to report on a number that is inaccurate. I can tell you um, that we have got a tremendous amount of law enforcement help. Um, I have the, the Oregon State Police assisting. We have all the local agencies including the Roseburg Police, uh, some of the other smaller municipalities, the Sheriff's Office, the FBI, the U.S. Marshal Service. Um, a lot of support in this investigation. Can you tell us anything about the shooter or what weapon was used? At this point I cannot. I can tell you the shooter was a male uh, subject and, and I have no further information beyond that. Can you what confirm if he is alive or dead? The shooter uh, is deceased. Can we confirm how many wounded? I'm sorry? Can we confirm how many wounded? I cannot at this time, no. What is this like for your deputies in a community this size where everyone knows someone on the it's, I'm sure it's very frightening for a lot of people that, that were responding. Um, you're right, this is a small community. It's a, it's a community college, so a lot of our friends and family uh, attend this college. Um, and it was uh, a situation that was, there, there was no answers for, for quite some time. Uh, I personally know of a number of people that, that I work with that had uh, very strong concerns about the welfare of loved ones that are going to school there. Can you confirm that there's a posting on a Facebook page warning that this might happen or to stay away from school? I haven't heard that comment now or can't comment on that. Was this contained to just one classroom or? Uh, at this point I, I can't tell you that. It's under investigation and, and I don't know. Can you tell us where he was shot? I mean what part of the campus was it in the classroom where the shootings occurred? Where he was, yeah, where he was shot. I don't know at this point. I, I know officers engaged him somewhere near a classroom, but I can't tell you if it was in the classroom or outside of the classroom. Do you know if he fired on police police officers? My understanding is yes, he did. Is it 13 dead the shooter or I I didn't I didn't say there was how how many fatalities there were at this point. I don't know. Um, the shooter is um, deceased. Can you uh, I can tell you, again, um, I have the district attorney here, and, and we have activated the major crimes team. Uh, and so along with the major crimes team and, and the other agencies that I mentioned, uh, we will be conducting a, a thorough, and I'm sure it will be a rather lengthy investigation into why and, and how many and, and all the answers that we can possibly Sheriff, can you tell us, are those helicopters taking people to the hospital or? No, no, I believe they're press helicopters. I don't know. Ah. One more time with the type of weapon. Are you saying it's a rifle or a handgun or anything like that? I, I don't know. Sheriff sure, Hamlin, was it in the science building, the majority of it? I don't know that. Sheriff, sure, there's a national spotlight suddenly on Roseburg for people who may not be familiar with the community. Can you just talk a little bit about Roseburg so people nationwide can, can understand what kind of place this is? And sure. Um, <clears throat> Douglas County is a, is a timber community. Uh, we have 
roughly 107,000 people that, that live in the county here. Um, Umpqua Community College is the, is the only higher education facility that we have uh, in Douglas County. There are other community colleges in surrounding counties, and of course the, the University of Oregon would be the closest university uh, to this community. Uh, there's a lot of students that attend the college that are either in their first couple of years of, of higher education or a lot of misplaced uh, um, employees that have gone back to school to learn new trades and get an education. So, and is it fairly, is a, a fairly peaceful community, very, fairly low crime rate? or? It, it is a peaceful community. Uh, I mean, we have our share of, of crime like, like any small community. Um, but certainly this is a huge shock to the entire community to have this level of, of crime and incident occur in our, in our college or school system. Are you happy with the response of uh, law, force, law enforcement in this situation? I am extremely happy with the response. I've got fellow sheriffs here. Uh, that have been through similar uh, situations up in the Willamette Valley that have come to provide support and assistance. And like I said, the Oregon State Police uh, have, have provided us with a tremendous amount of resources, uh, and uh, I couldn't be happier. How many people do you think are on campus trying to investigate the situation? Superintendent, do you know? I, I couldn't. I, I'm, guessing, I'm guessing we have uh, well over 100 uh, detectives and officers, uniformed officers out there. Were any officers what injured? Where their loved ones are? No, there's no, been no report of any of the officers injured. What do you what suggest the, the public do right now? I'm sorry? What do you suggest the public should do right now? Should they avoid the area? Or? My suggestion is that they think um, of the, the family of the victims and um, be aware of, of their anguish and and think of them first the families of the of the victims are the ones that are going to have the most difficult days ahead there have been deputies on campus when the incident occurred or was, was osp the first having an officer i i'm not sure uh i'm not sure which officers uh, arrived first there was two or three of them i believe that arrived about the same time do you have reason to think that there might be explosives like or you know that there was a reason to sweep the whole campus? Yeah, that, that is part of the investigation to try to determine if that's a, a threat. We haven't had any indication that it is at this time. And is there any indication that there's anyone else involved in the shooting? Yeah, I, that it's too early in the investigation to make that, that determination. Do you have armed security guards on campus? Do what? Do you have armed security guards on campus? No, I do not. Does Douglas County still have a SWAT team they did? We, we have a tactical response team, yes. Were they the ones who shot? No, it was the responding officers that got there first. Uh, have families been started to get notified about the deceased in this incident? That I'm not sure at this point. Do you know whether the shooter a student at the community college? I'm sorry? Do you know whether the, student, the shooter was a student at the community college? I do not. Have the, have the local hospitals been able to handle the, the, the casualties, or have they had to go elsewhere? Uh, that'd be a good question for them. I don't. I haven't heard what uh, how overloaded they've been with the injured. Um, I did hear rumor that a couple of the patients were shipped to other area hospitals or out of area hospitals. And, and practically, do you have a PIO and do you have another press event scheduled after this? I do. Um, Corporal Hudson uh, is here in the crowd, and he will be um, putting out more information as it comes available. What's kind of the next stop in the investigation? Currently, we've got um, we've got more of the compound to do a thorough search of. We have to process um, the scene or scenes where the shooting occurred. Um, we have a parking lot full of vehicles out there that we have to process and, and search. Um, and obviously we have just a, a ton of interviews to conduct. Campus just, just a moment. I, my PIO wanted to... Well, it is still too early to know all of the facts. I know I am joined by my fellow Oregonians and Americans in profound dismay and heartbreak at this tragedy at Anqua Community College. Facts are still emerging. We know now there were casualties and confirmed injuries. Our top priority now is the medical treatment for victims and the security of the campus. 
We have confirmation that the shooter is deceased. He is a 20-year-old male. Our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families. We are holding the community of Douglas County in our hearts today. The work that first responders have done is harrowing. To our first responders, thank you for your work as this community reels from grief. I am leaving now to head to Roseburg to be with the community there. Oregon State Superintendent Rich Evans is here to make additional remarks. Please take care. The first 911 calls came in in the uh, Roseburg area at 10:38 this morning. All law enforcement in the area responded immediately to the campus. The uh, active shooter was engaged uh, by law enforcement and uh, later confirmed to be deceased. Our number one priority right now is to make sure that the scene is secure and the victims are treated and making sure that we have a, a uh, complete crime scene and that we uh, continue to make sure that uh, there are no additional threats. The Oregon State Police is uh, combining with all the local law enforcement, including the Douglas County Sheriff's Office, in making sure that we are doing all the things that the community needs us to do. We have set up a command center. We have set up an additional area for media relations. Our PIO is there, uh, Lieutenant Bill Fugate, to assist you in the future. We're working through uh, a family unification center. As we know, the families in these type of events uh, become very frazzled, and they continue to uh, make sure that we're communicating uh, what we need to uh, with them as we move forward. Um, these, uh, I would like to remind the media that these scenes are very dynamic and they change. Our number one priority is making sure that all victims are safe. And so additional information may take some time for us to make sure that we can get that information accurately to you. But our number one priority right now is making sure that we take care of the victims, the families, and the community of Roseburg. I would like to uh, thank the first responders that responded today in a timely manner, and thank you. I'm sorry, we're not going to be able to take any more questions today. So uh, there's a command center in Roseburg, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to talk with you there. Thanks. All right, guys, so you heard from uh, the sheriff earlier than you heard from the governor of Oregon. The only thing we can confirm, the shooter is a 20-year-old male. We still don't have official word as far as how many people were shot, how many people were killed. We're hearing different reports. We've heard various numbers throughout the morning and afternoon, anywhere from 10 to 15 people killed. We've